Dash 28, 720A is being described as a study center, Parish Hall. According to Mr. Warner, the services are only held at the church during the warm months. In the rest of the year, they are held in the Parish Hall Study Center, being a much smaller building that is easier to heat and maintain. It should also be known that there are no workshop studies during the summer. Parcel 17 720 Card 2 still does not qualify for religious exemption, is being characterized as a parsonage, as there is currently no full time pastor of the church who resides there. After reviewing all the information obtained in the accordance with RSA 72 colon 23 3, I do not believe Millbrook Christian Fellowship completely meets the criteria to qualify for a full religious exemption on Parcel 17 720 Card 1 or Parcel 17 720 A. The church only holds service approximately something five months out of the year, which it makes sense to its due to heating and maintaining a building of that size for only nine members. This means that during the summer months, the parish hall study center is not in use at all because, it, according to Mr. Warner, there are no studies during the summer. When services are moved to the parish hall study center, that means the church is only used for AA meetings once a week. If all the information obtained from Mr. Warner is accurate, both of these buildings are occupied for religious purposes only a portion of the year. I recommend that the exemption be denied for the building on 17-20 card 2 and that it be granted a 50% of the church building assets value on parcel 17-720 card 1 plus land value and 50% of the assessed value of 17-720A. thought that um, with religious exemptions, you only had a service, not even have a service, like one time a year. Uh, but like one, an official, one, that's one, like, I know, like once a year, like, you know, the church that's up on Canaan Street, across from the, the North Church on Canaan Street, they get a service there once a year. I think there's a, I think they have the number a year, I think three or four a year. They Is it? Do. Yeah. I thought it was once a month then, as long as No, I think yeah. not. This is up here. Services a year to exempt. Which church is that? This one right up here. Oh, the East Grass. Yes. Well, that doesn't count anymore. Right. They're not a church. No. But they had that issue. Uh, right. And back then, I thought they just had to have it once a year. They weren't even having that. I mean, before they before they uh, gifted it. <coughs> Ten dollars and sixty-five cents. Mm -hmm. Almost paved another road. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what we're gonna do with all that. All that revenue. Okay. Open position, those things. No, you have to ask that.
Oh, yeah, we have, yeah. We get positions open on the highway now. We get no, nobody to fill it in. I'm questioning on how we yeah, advertise, and I think we need to look at uh, wages. Yeah, it's being part of uh, why we're not getting anybody to. Uh, we pay low, low wage, we get uh, people that have no experience at all. That's a, a serious problem. It, so right now in the highway department, we have open positions. Yeah, you're down to two people. We're down to two people. So and you got winter coming. Pretty, pretty, well, the way fall is going. Yeah. <laughs> right. It's October 1st, no frost. Right. Maybe we'll have a Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah I, I agree. I think that uh, we need to do something to entice people to come. Probably money talks. I don't know where it's being advertised. Uh, but I'll tell you, if we advertise for a higher rate, it means we have to give everybody a higher rate. Well, you could go uh, based on experience. Well, we could say, well, you mean something like uh, 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 wages and salary will be based on experience instead of saying 18 bucks an hour. It, it, exactly. Yeah, because you don't want somebody that knows uh, no experience at all. Seven and a quarter. Right. Yeah. I mean, you. We need to be sat looking for some yeah. for people that know what they're doing, so that we get. Yeah. Okay. Currently, it's being advertised. Well, it's on our town website. So we get a, a yeah. lot of traffic for a job posting. Yeah. Um. It's physically posted on the bulletin board. And then I have it posted through the NHMA um, job postings. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't do Indeed because last time we did Indeed, I didn't get any traffic given anyway. Um, and they charge if you hire if you get a applicant through Indeed and you choose to hire them, they charge you. You have to pay them like a finder's fee or whatever. yeah, basically. Um, I can do that. But that also doesn't didn't get a whole lot of traffic. Right. So when you advertise, what are we advertising for wages? Right. We are not. I don't have wages listed but for that reason. But they ask, you know, um, and so we've got to be able to come back with a good. What do we have for a wage. range now? Do we have a range? Yes. So twenty dollars an hour. The starting out no CDL is typically $18 an hour. Green, no experience, no CDL, $18 an hour. Um, and then up to what the road agent is making, which is 26 something. So um, the current CDL driver is making $20 an hour. I think we would have to bump those two up if we wanted to take on one that. I think so. It, it always is a shift. It's really low. It's really low. Maybe even if you could. Careful what you wish for. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, I think that we do have to pay a higher wage. We have to do something to entice people here. Mm -hmm. I know that we've had people come and accept the job and then go down and take a look at the equipment and then that's the end of it. That's, that's happened. Yeah. Um, when Jeff was working on his budget, he wanted help with figuring out wages. I did work with him to figure out, you know, if he were to increase the wage ranges, what he should increase them to. Yeah. Um, so he has the range there. Now, for the amount of people he's requesting, that might not be realistic, but the wage range itself, yeah. um, I felt like he did a pretty good job with that piece alone, so you guys could look at that. Okay. What, what, do you know what the range was? Yeah. Um, get in there. 
So, um, he did not increase the non-CDL driver, which I don't know why we talked about that. But for the non-CDL driver, he has it 18 to 20. The CDL driver, he has 21 to 27. And then the road agent, he has 28 to 38. So we could probably... The road agent is what? 28 to 38. Um, and that could be a salary because of how high it is. It used to be salary. It's not now. I don't know why. Um, if we wanted to increase the non-CDL, we could probably increase the lower number for the CDL driver. So instead of 21 to 27, we could probably make it more like 23 to 27 and make the non-CDL of 2023 with um, the opportunity to get their CDL. But but if we're not we have to look at what's in the budget this year to see if we could work those increases in for this year budget because if the budget fails for if, if his wage increase for next year doesn't get approved like we've, this is what we have to work with this is what we know so then you could take and make that on the default budget you can increase that then because of your wage increase yeah so we have to figure out right right so it's not like, yeah, if his budget failed, then, then you're back where you're at yeah. now, right now. But we need to figure out what we want that default number to be. Right. So well, not just I, whether or not we have it in this year's budget, but well, so maybe it is. it so that we have it in the next year's. But I ride by the yeah, high school yeah, in Canaan and see that yeah, they're paying the part-time bus driver $26.75 an hour. And I look at what uh, Graf is paying. <laughs> what is Canon paying their highway crew or Dander? 21, 22. So they're right in the no. same range? I mean, no. That's, what, right that's where they're offering, uh, offering what they're paying more. Yeah. Patrick got it. Nice ball. Yeah. 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 Y
Post office Post office. flyers. You never know. Not too far from Grafton. Yeah. yeah. Grafton people have to go somewhere to go to the store. When yeah. you put a flyer on that Danbury Highway Department. You're <laughs> <laughs> just. There's six. Okay. Do it again, too. State Health Center is asking for $2,000 this year. How much was that, $2,000? Yeah. Yeah, we didn't get to them in the past. Is Main State Health the one that the Canaan... Is that the one in Bristol? The, the Main State Health. Plymouth, Bristol, and Lincoln. Oh, okay. gone. Oh, that's why. Yes, no, the sure. Bristol one. The it's, across gone. From it's gone? The sign is something else now. The one in Bristol? Yeah, the yeah, sign is sure. something else now. It's not a good state. Oh. Huh. Well, maybe they got bought out by somebody or merged or... Maybe the, I don't know. The sign completely changed something different. Hmm. Uh, they, huh. Maybe they got sick of the cows really in the front door. Which, what, what's the mask on the health one? What did they change to? Health first. Help first. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Correspondence. That was correspondence. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Public comment. Nice. Oh. So anyway. Um, my name is misspelled on the Still? website. Oh, I'm sorry. Step by. That's okay. How do I have it spelled on there? I think it's W A Y on the website. Okay. We're on H on there. <laughs> Um, and just as I told you guys when I met with you, um, I'm going to be gone October 4th through the 23rd. Have a nice vacation. FYI. Out of cell service for a good portion of that. We'll send smoke signals instead. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so call her phone like 30 times a day for the whole time when she gets back to the service. <laughs> Can I ask a question for you? Well, sure. Finished. Have you thought about a um, deputy? No, but I can. I don't think, I think Steve had um, Russell for Russell. a little bit, but then I think Russell kind of stopped doing it. Okay. So I guess you can. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think that on the way from service. <laughs> Morning. I have a whole bunch of stuff. Um, as far as advertising, what about just on Friends of Grafton or Friends of Danbury or Friends of Canaan? I've seen Canaan advertised on Friends of Grafton highway so I try not to post on social media as a member of the town um, I try to stay away from doing that because then people expect to get you know town information that way mm -hmm. um, and then it can get really muddled um, so I try not doing that but if someone else wants to like go onto the website and see the job posting and share it that's that would be amazing gotcha because that would help and you can, you can, I think there's a share option. Use some postings. Um, the next thing is, I don't know if you realize it, but I believe the heat's on and the door's open. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, let's see. Is that the heat? Yeah. I can hear it. I hear like something. Oh, I thought it was the refrigerator. I thought there was something in the kitchen. No, that's what the heat sounds like. When the heat comes on, it's hard to hear out here. But I believe that the door is closed. That may be why you're not here. Oh, so it's muffled. Um, let's see. Just a comment. The church in Dorchester, didn't they shut that down because they were only having one meeting a year? You know, that little tiny church a few years back? Just a comment. Um, let's see. That's the refrigerator. Okay. You're kidding. I am not kidding. I'm glad my refrigerator is in my car. <laughs> 
little salt so, in the one crease. So what you're saying you is sand is sand is sand. It's all the same. It's all the same quality. We don't have to worry mm -hmm. about it. I'm sure there's different types of sand. Uh, and what you've been hearing is just hearsay. Okay, that's why I was asking. So I'm, you know, I don't know. Maybe it is inferior sand. I, I, I don't know. Well, that's why I was asking because I thought you guys might. So be. that we knew that we bought inferior sand. I don't think so. Okay. We did get sand from a different supplier this year. We'll find out this year if it's any good. So you got it from someplace different yeah. than, than normal. Okay, I'm done. Thank you. Okay. Final comments from Selectman. Um, well, let's see. We have uh, coming up. We, we don't meet again until after the 8th. We have a budget meeting coming up next Tuesday. And then that following weekend is a big weekend in town because Skip Gorman's going to be playing at the East Grafton Church on Friday. And then that weekend is the Garlic Festival. So it's a big weekend for the town of Grafton. And... Uh, I just want to get that out there and hope everybody enjoys it. I hope everybody shows up there and I hope everybody goes to the Garlic Festival too. And then Rec Committee's doing their right. yard sale too, right? Rec Committee's having a yard sale on the same day as the Garlic Festival? Yeah. Is that going to be on the rec field? Or? Yeah. Okay. Of course, they're going to be open for food. Yes. With some what's left over food from what was it, July. You got so, sausage grinders there too? Yes. Okay. Sausage, hamburger, hot dogs, and fried dough. Oh, you have that day off? It's a Saturday. Did you say french fries? No, I didn't say french fries. <laughs> Did you say but fried dough, right? Fried dough. That's metabolic syndrome time. Oh, so, yeah, you're going to find something to cook with Marissa. Maybe. <laughs> she should go to Hampton. Can they take delivery orders? <laughs> Boy, where are you going to be? I'm going to be over on the other side. Yeah, we can send a wire from one side to the other. <laughs> <laughs> <A> zip line. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, it'll probably get stolen from there. It's fried dough. Hey. You don't want to take your hands off that. Fried dough is, yes. <laughs> okay. I, I just have one okay. that, and it pertains to uh, the Bible. Uh, I think when slips are signed down in the office on uh, Monday, they need to be looked at a little uh, closer. This thing's going on that shouldn't be going on. Um, Give me an example. Oh, you got the road agent coming in uh, 15 minutes earlier. Yeah. Yeah, uh, just to do you know, five minutes worth of paperwork. Yeah, they're sitting in that town shed for well over an hour before they start. All two of them? Yes, all two, all three of them at this time. Uh, I'm questioning the, uh, we gave the uh, road agent authority to uh, have the internet. I'm questioning the, uh, how often it's getting used, so for $140 a month, it seems to be, uh, I don't know if it's really worth it. Uh, if, uh, I don't know, I don't know how much he's using it. And it is used. the other thing being is uh, running uh, in further areas than what needs to be for a uh, very small uh, purchase. Uh, there was a purchase uh, made uh, a week ago, and he, he went uh, and drove uh, over an hour, close to an hour, just to, uh, one way to get this uh, purchase, and it was like a $40 purchase. It wasn't much. So you talk an hour or an hour back, yeah, you take his uh, wage of 26 something an hour, yeah, that's two hours plus a vehicle, and it's taken away from the uh, town roads. Okay, most of the places that we, the town is parked from are like an hour away. Nordic, Nortrax is an hour away. I yeah. It was Runnings. Claremont is like an hour away. Yeah. If but that was also the day that they took something over to 
reads. So they're already over there. They went to. If that's the same one I'm thinking of. Yeah. No. They went to reads at the same time, so they were already over there. So they went to reads. Yeah. They, rather than them going to running then, they can do it another day just to running. I appreciate what you're saying, but like what you explained was you wouldn't really see that so much on their slips that we sign off on the payroll. Well, so yeah. that's like they're operating, you know, somebody's wasting time. It's not going to show up on their time card. Well, it is when you see a running slip at, uh, at $40, you don't, you question it. You shouldn't question it yeah, when it's over claim on it. And uh, if you look at what was uh, purchased, it was like, I'm not going to make my life a job to play for manage these departments. I, they not, are I'm supposed not, to be running their own department. We're just overseeing, but we're not going to micromanage them. I'm not saying to uh, micromanage them. That's kind know. of what you're doing, because you're going right through everything. Like, why you this? Why you this? Why this? Like, yes. Yeah, I kind of see what Leaf is saying. But yeah. I hear what you're saying, and I will make sure that I look carefully at, the, at, at all the slips for that sort of thing in the future. Because so I'll, I'll catch them before you. If, that's, if that's true, if I get there before you. Of course you will. I will do. No. No, I didn't want this week. He was waiting for me when I walked yeah, in. That's amazing. Yeah, you should come over in. He's getting all worried. Ed shall have to be one there. So yeah, well, he's <laughs> sitting out in the yard waiting for him to leave, but he didn't leave, so I had to get those things signed. <laughs> We'll take a close look at them. Um, I'll go back and review the ones that I looked at too, so I can see what I'm looking for. I'll talk to Jeffrey tomorrow. Yeah, because I'm not looking to micromanage, but I'm also. But if he's there 15 minutes early, and he's it's not really a worry to me that he's there 15 minutes early because he's not going over his 40 hours. He, he, he's going. Did he? Yes. I'll talk to him tomorrow. I'll talk to Jeffrey tomorrow. I didn't make it down this week. I worked yesterday. No, I understand that. But, but, but usually he doesn't go over his 40 hours. I do look at his hours. The 50 minutes, I see 6, 45, 40. Okay, that's fine. Because we talked about going over on stupid stuff in the summertime. And to change on wages, do we need to do that in non public or public? Well, I mean, it's a budgetary item. Oh, to give someone a raise? Yeah. yeah I think you have to go into non-public. They have to be invited. Um, because you're talking about an employee. So I believe they have to be invited. That's what you're going to invite. Like the RSA then. That's why if we're going to change the... Yeah, we the wages of a highway. Yeah, with the, the boss, yes. so we don't have you to. You can know do it, it in a non public for the dismissal, promotion, or compensation of any public employee um, unless the employee affected has a right to a public meeting and requests that the meeting be open. So they don't have to be there, but they have to know that it's happening and they have to request whether or not to do it in a public meeting. Yes, but they have not to be given the option. But we're not taking and uh, uh, talking about uh, any one of, uh, of the two that, that remain. It, well, that's what I'm saying. If you're talking about we their increase, talking about it too. if you're talking about their increase, you have to let them know that you're talking about it. And if you're doing it in a non-public, and you have to give them the option to say that they want it in public. If you're talking about the wages itself, it's just a budgetary item. It's public knowledge because the public pays for that. This, I was, guess we can do it right now. Um, changing the wage back to salary. Because I don't understand why you went, they went hourly. I've said that for years. I don't know why it ever got changed back to hourly because then. Because they were appointed. The three they get lower price. Yes, but back when your grandfather was a uh, road agent, he chose to have it go to salary. Yeah. And then uh, all of a sudden, boom, after that. Uh, Next road agent went in. Yeah. Oh, I want to. Yeah. I don't really because it changes yeah, how many hours I could take of work. Because yeah. it was appointed. When it was because 
They went from uh, elected to appointed, and they, they gave them hourly. They went back to uh, elected and went back to salary with overtime, which I don't believe in. Right. Carry into your salary, you get a set. Right, so that, that I think the issue was that if he's on salary and all the, all the if the chief is on the salary and all the Indians are on hour, hourly and they end up making more than the chief, then that's that's the issue. Depending on what's going on, I mean, if you're on salary, you work you know sixty hours a week, and we're gonna your salary is based on what forty hours a week. Is that fair? No, that's what I'm doing. No. I mean, but where I worked, I was on salary, and all the hours well, used to used to laugh. Ha ha ha! You have to work longer, but I had other. There were other means of compensation. It, it, exactly. There's you were paid for forty, no matter what. I can find out what the agreement was to why that was brought back to salary. Well, the thing being, is, uh, it's supposed to. Or yeah, to have. 